Hi guys, I'm Shmi. Hello to you. Welcome back to the channel and welcome to day one of the 2018 Gumball 3000. We're going from London to Tokyo. Today though, it's London for the first leg to Chantilly in France. We'll be driving, crossing the Euro Tunnel, but the cars have all been getting underway. You can see the lineup of the last few cars as they come on through. We're waiting here till my co-driver Bentley and Ben arrives with my AMG GTR that we're going to be driving on this rally. So as soon as he arrives, I will jump in. We'll head down the start line, get to Today's drive underway, the first leg of an adventure that is taking us 3,000 miles from here, across continents, to Japan, to Tokyo in Japan. It sounds ridiculous, but in a week's time, we're going to be there. So it's day one, can't wait for the car to get here and to get on the road and get this journey properly started. The team in front are on their way, which means it's time for me to jump in and join Benzine Ben. Are you ready, Ben? I am so ready. Let me step in here to get on our own adventure now. Seatbelt up, up to the start line. Here we go. We've got the route cards that tell us everything. But this is it. This is the start line of the gumball. We've got the flag in front of us. How's everyone doing? How are you guys? So excited. So excited. Are you going to say to the London crowd? Thanks everyone for coming, you're epic. London is an awesome place for Gumball to get started, but we are on our way. Give it up for Schmidt, Team 150! Sounds good, the flag is waving. This is Gumball time. Here we go. So, this is the start of our, well, my sixth Gumball, Ben's second Gumball now. But this is leg one, this is the first. Hey. <laughs> Hey! <laughs> I forget how much fun this car is. So, hey, how you doing? Woo! So the crowd has thinned out a little bit from the start. There are over a hundred cars taking part. It's been a long, long journey. I think a long wait for people watching everybody departing. Wow, my goodness. It's Gumball 3000. We're good to go. Let's rock this. How is this for a start? We're straight out of the grid, heading east through London towards the Euro Tunnel, and we're following the McLaren P1. Of all the cars, one of my absolute favorites, this Volcano Orange car. I didn't even realize it was taking part because I hadn't seen it on the grid being stickered up. But here it is, McLaren's hybrid hypercar, the first of their Ultimate Series, and we're following it to get our Gumball adventure started. Sadly, not in my McLaren, but in the AMG GTR, which is, Perfect. Perfect. It's running, running all pop properly and correct? Yeah, so far no warning messages. So uh, to fill everyone in, we did have a warning message pop up last night that I talked about on social media. How you doing guys? <laughs> <laughs> but this is it, this is Gumball, P1, London, Tower Bridge. This is the start. I mean, there's literally, is there a Tower Bridge on our shirts, on the Shmi shirt design? I can't see, I can't remember what you put in here, Ben. There's no, definitely a maybe. London eye, all sorts of parts of the design. But here we go. This is a bit of gumball. The P1's gone that way, but we've seen a sign that says road ahead closed. So we're gonna go on a different route around following ways the navigation system, which just seems to work perfectly in these cases. And let's see who gets the Euro Tunnel first. We've got a bit of a race on our hands now. We're crossing London's Tower Bridge. The Shard is just alongside us there behind the gumball stickers. But this is how this works. We get given these route cards like Japanese menus every day, which tell us where we're going, what we're doing. This is card number three. But this is the city we're saying farewell to for now. We'll be back here in not too long. We're out of London and this is Gumball for you because I am already editing a video, getting together our start video, so that will be live straight away. But up ahead of us, we've got two GT3s, one of which is Mr. JWW, joined by Parker from Vehicle Virgins. So we'll try and catch those guys in a second, but we're part of a small Gumball crew as we meander down towards the Euro Tunnel, about two hours from here in total. But this is a good way to get rolling. As we gently cruise out of London, past the guys. Who's driving? James is on the wheel. Hey, hey. What's up? Gumball! Hey. Oh, I lost my sunglasses. <laughs> way, 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 way up ahead in the distance if I zoom in. There is a Porsche 918 Spyder, a Rolls Royce, and a Ferrari. Maybe you can just see those going around the corner up at the front there. We've got some GTR friends. Off they go. Oh, and Hurricane. Nearly missed that. F12. Oh, 812, 812. Lovely colour, lovely, lovely colour. We're arriving at the Euro Tunnel. We've got an R8 plus behind us. So we've seen quite a few gumball. Oh dear. 
arriving at the Euro Tunnel. We've had loads of crowds at all of the bridges. So cool to see so many people out and about coming to see the Gumball 3000 coming through. We've got an R8 that's following us at the moment. But basically, we've got to line up and hope we can catch a train before too long. And here, ladies and gentlemen, is the result of our navigational race. We made it to the Euro Tunnel. Well, technically now they've actually made it before us. No, no, not happening. But very, very, very cool. Well, they will actually, because we're in the right-hand drive queue and P1s were only made left-hand drive. So he's slightly cheated his way through. Anyway, we'll get our uh, ticket and manage to make a crossing. But yeah, Sport Turismo is a very cool car. We have Gumball 3000 parking. So loads of the cars are obviously waiting here. We have specific crossing times, but we come in, I think we get signed on. Oh no, we go around that way. This is funny, the Pogu crew, <laughs> Pogs Gumball 3000 team. <laughs> That's hilarious. It went from Brussels to London. But look at this. Very, very cool as everybody's just milling around, preparing for their crossing times. And we're surrounded by loads of the Gumball cars in one place. I like that we have the Kent police here keeping an eye on us at the Euro Tunnel, but we've got a number of cars lined up for the later trains. But Ben is back here where we're using the wing for what a wing is really for. It's our mobile office. We're uploading the video. This is at about 10% or so. Uploading the start video already on the move. And in traditional fashion, we've got our Burger King. Of course, why not? It has to be done. So that's what a wing's for. It's your picnic table, your office table, you name it. And just casually over there, by the way, there's a 918 spider. Yeah, just chilling. What a hot day. What a beautiful day to be here with the Gumball cars. I mean, there's nothing like this. Nothing like it at all. Everybody around is coming to see the cars, of course. We're just going to try and get this video online as soon as we can. I'm now driving my first leg of the Gumball from the car park to the Euro Tunnel train. It's time to board. We've got the other GTR from Germany just two in front of us. The other cars were all on a different train and I don't actually know who's going to be in front. I don't know whether our train leaves first or their train leaves first, but Mr. JWW and Vehicle Virgins are on the other one. So let's see what happens when we get to France. And then there are going to be loads of police around in France. So it's careful sailing down today towards Chantilly, but they're all boarding that train, I guess. So they'll be somewhere there in a moment. But we are getting in here for the usual cruise across to France. 35 minutes in the train, super easy. Everything comes, well, just goes plain sailing, right? Hello France with benzene back at the wheel. So I've literally just driven, well, less than a mile of Gumball so far this year, but we'll swap around shortly. I'm gonna manage a video that's about to go live. For the meantime, it's about two hours from here to Chantilly, which is lovely because it's not gonna be a very late night on the first day, which has been quite a busy one. And it is a gorgeous day, but no doubt the gendarmes are waiting, so be careful, Benzie. I will, I will. No trouble, please. Onwards. 720S off in France. We've also got a 488 back there, and I think there's something else tucked in behind it as well. But here we are on the auto routes. Now this is where we have the magic of the telepayage dongle, this little thing, which means when we get to the payage booths, we can skip through the fast lane and hopefully overtake and catch up with some people further ahead of us. Right, there we go, 488 just poking out. And something behind it, is that a DB11 maybe? I think it is, yeah. G-Wagon on the flyby. Team two, off they go. And the Turbo S. That must be so cool, bringing a car over from America and driving it from London to France. We've not managed to sneak past anybody, but we have got through, and there is quite a crowd awaiting at the first booth just here. Wow, that was a lot of people. That was a very nice sound. Who do we have here then coming past? We've got a Hurricane Spider, a few of them on the grid. a police car is whether the blue lights are an unmarked or a gumball are having fun or someone else causing trouble but that was actually a policeman so be careful Betty mm. now we go back onto the auto routes we've swapped over again so I'm actually driving some gumball today believe it or not I will do a few miles at the wheel which obviously means for the moment a bit of this and then Ticket. We shall just do this and do, do, do. the 
720s is there as well come on open up toll there we go off we go see you guys we are arriving now they hold the chantilly concourse here so a classic car event lovely event it's a very grand chateau just north uh, northeast i think of paris but there are quite a few people who have made the journey out to the countryside so should we give them some noise First checkpoint. <laughs> <laughs> Here we are then. Look at that. Look at the castle with the setting light. So guys, we made up the t-shirts. Benzie and Ben made the t-shirt design for the gumball, and I'm just gonna check this out and see where it ends up. They're in the Shmi shop as well, if you're interested. But let's, let's uh, wait a second, let's put it into park down the door. This is too small. This is too small. Someone out there got oh, it. Someone got it, someone got it. So let's continue down. Here we are, let's have some noise. Got it. Cool. Right, we've been told to keep moving, so let's uh, let's be good. Let's check out some stickers. All the cars driving in then to the car park, the 918 Spider. We've just come in through the crowds up there, but now we're in private grounds where everybody is parking up. It's an interesting wrap they've done on this with full black at the front and the stripe pattern over the back. I think it's the white car underneath. A car from Dubai, joined also by the 488 Spider here. And those guys are driving together on the rally, but just take a look around. Feast your eyes on the car park here in the grounds of the chateau. Very neatly parked and lots and lots of drones up in the skies, as you can probably see. Hurricane Spider coming in too, so please do excuse me if it gets noisy as the drone comes down and dust goes absolutely everywhere all over the cars. But they are all displayed in a lovely way. In fact, look over here, the three off-roaders. Look how small the Lamborghini Urus looks when you park it between a Ford pickup truck and a G500 4x4 squared. That's quite an interesting combo. You've got the likes though of the AMG GTRs, Team Salamone's Aventador SV Roadster, which is absolutely absurd. Just in general terms though, we are surrounded by some pretty incredible cars and some equally incredible wraps. And not, if not even more so, some very impressive work has actually gone into all of these different cars. And if we come back to see Josh Car 2's 812 right here, this is the thing I love the most about this car. If I turn on the light, on my camera look at this look at how cool that is with the logos or the pictures graphics that light up as you walk around it i've not seen something like that i guess it's a printed reflective wrap but kudos because that comes out very 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 cool nice work by yanimize to do that um so what else do we have you know pretty full grid GTR hasn't let us down today. I think the cars now are going to start parking up on this section. It's all gone pretty well. Then over here, the Bentley GT3R. But yeah, what can I say? Fortunately, things stayed together. We were a bit worried we might have a continuation of the problems, but all went without a hitch in the end. Very, very happy with the wrap design that we went with uh, from Dub Customs obviously based on the yellow with all the country camo. What a day it's been. I'm not gonna lie, even though it hasn't been that long a drive, by Gumball standards, today has actually been quite civilized. I am still exhausted after the days that have come before it, the preparation to get the car here, to get everything ready, to get ourselves registered as Team 150 on the Gumball. So day one of the 2018 Gumball 3000. We've got five more driving days to go, plus the day to actually fly ourselves to Japan as well in the middle of it. There's gonna be a lot more I guess of the story of the adventure as we make our way over towards Tokyo in Japan. Thank you very much for watching though guys. I hope you've enjoyed the first day. There's a lot more to see in the near future. I'll catch up with you again very soon. Cheers.